Hello, hello everyone. So we're gonna do a quick tutorial of the Sheila Art Balloon Technique. So I start with my pillow of Sheila Williams Color to Go Tricorn Black, followed by Tri Art Play Doh Turquoise Light, and then with TLP Sapphire. Aren't those colors beautiful together? So contrasting. And then we go purples with Liquitex Prism Violets and with TLP Nightfall. So I did this painting blues, purples, and then pink. So my pinks were Golden Quadrational Magenta, TLP Watermelon, and then Amsterdam Primary Magenta. And then my cell activator is Titanium or sorry, Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Aussie Floetrol. All my paints are mixed with Bayer 8300 and Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Alright, so now we're going to see me blow it out. Well, kind of, my head is in the way of the camera. So, let's just imagine it. Alright, and now we're going to spin it out and spin it again. You should really spin your painting more than you think you need to because it will help stop cracking. Like I get cracking and then if I try it again on the similar size piece, I just spin it out even more than I did before and it works well. So most people blend their un like unblown out sides before they spin the piece out. But with these, I actually did it afterwards. And I'm glad I did because I find you get the pillow pop out just enough and it really gives the piece some drama and like great contrast with the black with all the colorfuls so all all the color and the the white cell activator all right so we're gonna slow the video down you'll be able to see the cells really pop and you can see the dramatic sides of the squiggly blending and as, isn't that pretty so this is actually part of a tri patch so i made three very similar ones on seven and a half inch mdf rounds and I finished them with tri liquid glass, which gives a resin like shine. So we got the three of them here, and I think they pretty look pretty nice together. And here's some close-ups of the sparkle. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it come through. And just check it out. So these uh, this, these pieces are available on my Etsy for purchase if you're interested, amongst other things. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you again next time. See ya!